Ah, oh, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and this video is thanks to, I can't remember even who asked me to do a video on Lil Uzi, but we're going to do a video on three ways that the Lil Uzi brand stands out and why people who like him F with him so hard. Hard to do information on how Lil Uzi got his one up in the game, because basically, to be real, although he wasn't an overnight success, kind of was an overnight success because after Don Cannon found him off the radio, they basically put him in position to win. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But let's go ahead and hop into what's so unique about Uzi. Number one, anime. I know it doesn't seem like Lil Uzi really pushes anime incredibly hard, but the fact that Lil Uzi includes anime in his stuff like P's and Q's is super obvious. It's something he's been embracing a lot more recently. It also allows him to connect extra to the many fans who have really started to love anime. There's a whole generation, I'm in that generation, that has grown up on anime and those people see that extra connection, point blank. So it adds and makes Uzi unique, not because he's the only person who's a rapper and does anime, but he's the only rapper on his level that actually commits as hard as he does to anime. It seems simple, but it just it creates additional way of connection and helping him stand out from the people in his own lane. Number two, Rockstar commitment. Now we all know Lil Uzi Vert loves Marilyn Manson. If you don't know, now you know. He doesn't really take it as just some, oh, I like this person inspired, face value to sound cool thing. He's really committed to being a rock star. I don't give a fuck is a part of Lil Uzi's brand. Straight up. So when he you hear people ask him questions about, oh, why don't you rap this way or that way? Because he did used to rap uh, kind of an old school or more technical but now he's like man i don't really care about that old opinion or none of that old stuff i'm on my wave whatever somebody else doesn't like i dress how i dress if someone doesn't like it it is what it is it's me it creates controversy in some ways but then the people who really rock with him rock with him and it helps him stand out he says i don't give a fuck and he really lives it out a lot of people say they don't artists in particular but ain't too many for real for real actually living it or at least doing things where their level of i don't give a fuck is actually tested but Lil uzis is tested frequently and third which i believe is the most important is his flow. Lil Uzi says he looked up to Mike Jones growing up. He loved Mike Jones. And one of the biggest things he got from Mike Jones was just the repetition. Um, he, Mike Jones repeated a lot of stuff, right? Back then they didn't want me. Now they hot. They all on me. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. You can hear repetition through and through all throughout Lil Uzi's songs. He used to be more of an old school boom bap type style. And now he focuses a lot on melodies and choruses, which are always repeated. But then even that, da 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 yeah, da 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 yeah, da 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 yeah, that's repetition he keeps ending with, yeah. So he has this repetitive flow, but it's also a unique flow that kind of sets him aside. And that is really something that helps him be so recognizable, which is what brand is all about. So of course there's some other other things this is just three small things that help him stand out big there's always a few things that do most of the work in branding but if you want to talk about some more and even identify some more go ahead and mention it in the comments it's kind of a test series so if you want to see me do this on somebody else go ahead and mention them in the comments and other than that you know what to do hit that subscribe button